We'll start with a Mustard R30 size 12 dry fly hook. This is my deer hair mayfly done. If you take a piece of deer hair, you want relatively straight hair. What you do first is you just make a little cut at the top between the hair with your scissors. You have to make sure that the hair is uh, going its natural direction downwards. Then what we do is we take a, a razor blade and holding the hide we make a relatively straight cut. Take your time down the hair like so. And then we can cut that out. You want to straighten the hair. You get a little strip like that. Straighten the hair. Pull out any loose hairs. And we're going to need that later. I've got Dyneema. You can use GSP. And we'll just attach this. And we'll go a wee ways back to there. And just, oops, remove that. And what we want is a little bunch of moose body. This entire fly is just deer hair. So to measure the tail. Now you don't want to do this tightly, otherwise your tail will flare. It's a little bit too long. So we just tack that in with two or three loose turns, that's perfect. And then what I can do is when, as I go back, I can tighten up. That will stop the tail from flaring. So that will do us there. I'll just come in here, trim those off, tack the ends down, and go back up. Now I want to make a dubbing loop. If you're using regular tying thread, what you have to do here is make that dubbing loop double, otherwise it will break when you spin the deer hair. So we go forward to there, we've got the dubbing loop. Because I'm spinning deer hair, I need a heavy dubbing spinner. Just hang that out the way. And what I've done when I'm spinning deer hair in a loop, I've modified this Petit Jean clip, uh, magic clip, with two small strips of foam right on the edge. This holds the deer hair much better. So we want to try and straighten our deer hair, so we hold it like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as it's about 90 degrees from the hide. Then we can take our clip and go over and catch it in like that. Then with long straight scissors, this makes the cutting easier. If, if they're short scissors, what happens is you make one cut like that and then the next one isn't straight and it's not straight. So long straight scissors are best for this. So there we are, I've cut the deer hair now so we've still got that little edge. Take our dubbing loop and I take a little wax, this will just help the deer hair get a purchase. And then supporting my hand on the vise and my other hand on the table, put our clip in. Catch the deer hair. And we can adjust it as we will. And then we can spin it up. And if you're using regular tying thread, uh, the problem is that it may break here now. So what we do now is we've got a little 
extra tying thread here before the dubbing brush starts. So we wind ourselves back to the rear of the hook like so. We make our first turn, fold back the hairs Keep this nice and tight into each other each turn. This will give us a denser body. Brushing back the hairs as we go with each turn. So move my tying thread forward. Wind it all the way. Push that back a little. There we go. Just to make room for the hackle. There we are, and then we can catch in our dubbing loop. Like so. We can remove that. Take my whip finisher. On it, and then we can push all that back. Put one more in. Remove our tying thread, and then we can give the whole thing a nice brush. Try not to damage the tail, just comb the hairs out so there's none trapped. Excellent, then what I have to do is take it out of the vise turn it around and then we can come in. Don't want to cut that tail. And trim the body. Now when you're trimming the body you want to leave the hackle at the front of course. So we just go around like this. the tail out the way with your scissors and continue till you've trimmed the whole body down. Just a little bit there and I think that will do us. Let's put that back around in the vise there and you can see that's a beautiful hackle, very bushy, it's almost a, a humpy style uh, and of course it floats much better than regular hackle so uh, you can you can make beautiful duns out of these that are great for fast water. If you enjoy the videos please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.